Hey, I'm Nikhil Dhawan here. Today I'm going to teach you something about application of integration. See, the concept is integration is all about accumulation. Alright, so if you have a function and you are integrating it, then you are supposed to get the answer either from a particular limit, a low limit to an upper limit, or if you are not given limits, then it will be an indefinite integration. Since this, since I am delivering a lecture about application of integration, in this we have limits constraint here. So, if you have a function, that means you have f of x, and then uh, when you have f of x that means you have a, an input as x and you put that input of x in f of x and you get an answer while plotting the content on the graph we have two x's x axis and y axis so what we do is we consider y axis as f of x axis this means whatever the input we have when we put it in a function we get an output and that output is f of x and since we are considering y as f of x so from now onwards i would say given we have an input of x we have an output y all right so integrating a particular function from a to B means when we have an input A and then we, we then we have an input A point zero one or point zero zero one and so long till B let it be infinite number of inputs in between A and B all those inputs would be giving some Y's integration is accumulation of all those Y's all right so if we have a graph then we will be integrated then whenever we will be integrating we will be accumulating all the y's in there the best point to understand is ki if we have a location say 2 comma 3 then it means when 2 is the input y is 3 that means 3 is the output and as far as basic coordinate geometry is concerned <coughs> ordinate as 3 means the distance between the x axis and that ordinate and that coordinate is 3 units so whatever the ordinate tells you that number is also telling you the distance of that coordinate from x axis so when we integrate all the y's then in one way or the other we are accumulating all the lengths from x axis to the graph because the graph is accumulation of coordinates if we are accumulating ordinate component from the graph that means we are accumulating all the y's all the lengths till that graph hence we can say that we are eventually getting the area from the curve to the x-axis because the accumulation taking place is of the line segments is of the lens from x axis to the graph so if we have a graph like this and x axis lie in there we don't have the area of upper part but lower part because Integrating means accumulation of the line segments, the lengths from x-axis to the graph.
and hence we say we get area under the curve we don't say we get area we say area under the curve let me take show you some examples please if we have y or f of x is equal to sin x and we are supposed to integrate 0 to pi by 2 sin x then what we are actually integrating is let it be this pi by 3 pi by 6 pi by 2 the graph it goes like this the pi by 3 is half then this is the graph and we go like that 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 so if we are zero accumulating zero to pi by two then we are accumulating all the ordinates till this point and all the ordinate means all these line segments all right so whenever you get this integration definite integration you get accumulation of y's there is a very minute difference between definite integration and area under the curve definite integration is the arithmetic approach of accumulation of y's so if you have negative 10 y's and then positive 10 y's the accumulation will be zero but if you are talking about the area then you don't have negative area for that matter and hence in such cases where you are witnessing negative area you need to be very much accurate in that you need to apply more than that much specification so that you don't entertain the negativity while taking out the graph आइए देखते हैं for example अगर आपको यहाँ पे minus pi by two से pi by two आ जाता अगर आप graph में देखते हैं तो यही चीज ये आती तो ये negative wise हो जाते ये negative wise होते ये पॉजिटिव आइज होते हैं नेगेटिव बैक आ जाता है जीरो लेकिन क्योंकि आप एरिया स्पेसिफिकली शब्द वर्ड मेंशन है एरिया के बारे में तो आप इतने से इतने दौर को मॉड में लिखेंगे कि माइनस पाई बाय टू से जीरो तक साइन एक्स मॉड में प्लस जीरो से पाई बाय टू बिना मॉड के सो दैट इफ यू आर गेटिंग नेगेटिविटी you don't entertain it sometimes you get a graph like this like a parabola and a circle say like this and you are supposed to calculate the area bounded by bounded is a very important word bounded by the circle and the parabola then either it can be this area or it can be that area because this boundary is of the boundary of the parabola and this boundary is boundary of the circle also this boundary is boundary of the parabola and this boundary is boundary of the circle might be aap ko mention given ho mention ho ki small area nikalna hai to fir aapko tab ye wala area nikalna hota hai this is just like a fish आपको जब इसका एरिया निकालना होता है तो आप इस बात को रिकोगनाइज करते हो कि ये एरिया सिमेट्रिक है ये जितना है उतना ही ये है सो वॉट यू डू इज यू टेंट टू कैलकुलेट ओनली दिस मच एरिया एंड यू ट्वाइस इट आउट बट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दिस मच एरिया वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज 
you will first find this intersecting point in conic sections when you are supposed to find intersecting point there is only one way out and that is substitution whatever the equations are given you need to substitute them and then only you will reach out to the desired abscissa or ordinate whatsoever the case may be so whatever the abscissa is of this point you see this you accumulate means you integrate 0 to this point circle and then you get this much area right I can show it in the better picture if you have parabola like this if you have circle like this then you get the intersecting point you integrate the circle from this point to this point so you get these many ordinates when you get these many ordinates you are getting this then you integrate these ordinates as well which means you are getting this much area you subtract it from the complete and then you get this area since you are looking for this area as well so you just double it out always remember that if you always get area under the curve you don't get area upper the curve all right you always get area under the curve because you whenever you integrate you are getting accumulation of y's y's means ordinates ordinates means the distance between x-axis and that coordinate and when you are accumulating those length distances that means you are accumulating this whenever you draw a graph and you witness a negative y is in there then you need to apply the mod thing because you are not supposed to take the area negative that is the area but if you are witnessing it on the negative side then you are not supposed to take the negative out of it and one more thing which is very very important it's not necessary that you always accumulate y's sometimes there happens to be a case where you are not supposed to accumulate y but you are supposed to accumulate x let me show you for example you have a graph like this and then you are supposed to find this area if you take the accumulation of y's in there then you will be doing something wrong because with this interval you could have got this as well as this there, ki there might be some kind of confusion if you have something like this in which you are supposed to get the same output upwards as well as the downwards don't take x axis as the input axis instead take y axis as the input axis and you apply the limit from here from here to here and then when you have a limit from there to there then automatically these will be the outputs and you have need to have the intersecting point so that you authentically limitize this to this and then you take the abscissas of this line then from this to this you take the abscissas of this line because in this case abscissas must be good enough for this length all right since we have dx every time with us that is the that is the width all right so we are whenever we i'm saying that we are accumulating lengths we are not accumulating lengths we are accumulating shaded rectangle so very importantly you need to understand whenever you have something like this you take y axis as input and x axis as output whenever 
you write f of x is equal to something that means y is equal to something if the expression is in terms x that means x is the input and y is the output but if you are supposed to do the question other way around and you are supposed to get y as input then it is your responsibility to write the content in y terms if you have x in terms of y then y will be considered as the input all right so you need to in aoi it's very easy it's very comfortable you need to make a graph first and then you will take the decision all right if i get something else in my mind i'll bring to your notice thank you so very much that's what i